know, there is just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. And that certainly applies to this young man. Punches and bunches. As good a combination striking game as we've seen in the UFC in years. And you got to think the accumulation of punches, which have worn down lesser opponents, could wear down his opponent here tonight. It's one thing to see the hand speed on film. It's another thing to see it in your face on fight night. We'll see how this matchup plays out tonight. This guy has ridiculously powerful kicks. This is the one thing his opponent needs to absolutely avoid if he hopes to achieve victory in this fight. So here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Papa Bruce. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 9 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Villa del Rey Espanito, Santo Brasil, Eric Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. Ready? I'm very excited. Ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride and the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Nice punch there by Silva. Good shot. Oh, a huge block there. That one hurt. Silva gets caught with that punch. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Silva a little sloppy with the right hand there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. And a nice kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Hit him hard with that hand. hook. Huge oh, left hand. Big left hand.
Nice kick there by Lee. Banjo, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Just missed with the leg kick, and he lands that side kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, he missed that kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. There's a kick. Oh, he connects there. A swing and a miss by Lee. Punch coming, it's blocked. Back to the left hand now, but unable to connect, Joe. Effective punch there by Silva. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Oh, tagged him. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Silva gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Caught him with a punch. Fainting with that kick. Look at that jab. Nice. There he goes. Turning side kick. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there by Lee. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Under a minute now to go in the round. Using good footwork here, moving to the right, staying out of the power range of that big right hand. He's fainting with the punch. Take down attempt there. That choke is deep. And this might just be a matter of time. He's free, that guillotine was close. Now he secured side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground, staying busy. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Oh, man. Well, he's got a strong jab, missed with it there, though, Joe. Round right. two is next. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Incredible striking on display in that round. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. So here we go, second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seem to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two if there is less of a feeling out process and more of an uptick in the aggression here. Round two underway. And he connects there. That one hurt. Counters with a big hook.
Just missed with that right hand. Silva gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, These Joe. guys are exchanging huge shots. See the total strikes. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Lee's shot is blocked. Finds his range with the jab. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice punch by Silver. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. And a right behind it. He got tagged there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Clean punch. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Hook in the clinch there by Silva. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Back to over under. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Over under hooks here. Silva's got the double under hooks here on the clinch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do with it. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Constantly a moving target. 90 seconds and counting in round two. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Both men landing in that exchange. Tries a big hook to the head but misses. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, one, two. Just out of the range with that right hand. 30 seconds to go. Beautiful right hook counter. Outstanding kick there by Silva. Man, this dude is relentless. He just continues to pour it on. Really as aggressive as any striker on the roster. Got to be careful here, Joe, to not gas out. But you at least have to... Oh! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. Here's a perfectly placed punch to the body. And here's a huge, perfectly placed punch that lands with devastating impact. Ariane Celeste is with us. Ready? Ready? 
round underway. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still... Oh, that shot! He's definitely rocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he gets yeah. oh, he's, he's, he's hurt. Oh. Looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Trademark inside leg kick there by Lee. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That bruise on his outer thigh is really getting nasty. Oh, that head kick landed. Straight to the body by Silva. Silva gets caught by the inside leg. That oh, one appears to stop. He heard him. He's locked. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Look at that. Nice. It up on the right there to know that. Right hook to the head block. Tries for a low single. First takedown attempt is there. In the full guard here. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. And he gets it. This could be it right here. That's it. Is. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop this contest. At three minutes, 15 seconds of the third round, to find the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to 